and then I watched Baraka, which was the big thing for me. This is when I was 16. Uh, I didn't know what to do in my life. Um, I was a photographer, I was into music, but I hadn't really put the two and two together. Yeah, you know, I sat down in a class at 16 years old, having hardly been anywhere, I literally just lived in one part of Wales my whole life. And suddenly I, my mind was blown because I was shown the world through this film, Baraka, that had scenes from Morocco, Nepal, Japan, Cape Verde Islands. So that literally showed me the world um, in a way that I don't know what other film would. That gave me the bug big time. So I decided to study documentary, which did give me a great foundation. So there's a catch-22 when it comes to the media industry. You couldn't get a job at the BBC if you hadn't had a job at the BBC. You know, that was just how it was. Through doing this degree, I met the teacher, who, the lecturer, who was, of course, an ex-BBC filmmaker. In the third year, he started to make a BBC Wales programme, and the DOP was already on a shoot in Tunisia. The teacher said, Tom, can you come and cover for this DOP? because um, I was his best student in terms of camera department, so he chose me to come up and cover for the other DOP, so I did the first two weeks filming on that. After getting a little bit of success with Welsh television, I really wanted to be part of the national television network, so um, I'd heard through my lecture that there was this festival, a uh, film festival called Sheffield Documentary Film Festival, so I started travelling up to Sheffield to that, and I went there with a kind of hustler mentality, of, um, I brought my laptop with me and in those times the only way you could share a film with someone because you couldn't upload it to YouTube so easily um, would be to make a DVD. I'd kind of heard this phrase like you know you have to know someone to get into the industry so I, I realised I didn't know anybody so I thought I'd change that phrase to it's rather than it's who you know it's who you meet so I started to be a bit active at the film festival. I'd walk up to like Molly Deneen and famous filmmakers like her and try and give her a DVD. She'd be like, oh, thank you, and put it in a bag and probably throw it away and never watch it. So, you know, I must have given out 50 DVDs, but um, I gave one to a guy called Patrick Uden, who worked at Channel 4. And Patrick Uden, someone who's always been interested in new talent. He just got an eye for talent and a kind of a faith in young people that maybe some other people in the industry didn't have. At that time, it was early days of YouTube, so 2007, I think 2006 and seven. So I was uploading a lot and being very successful at that point, getting put on the YouTube's main page worldwide. Patrick Uden, after about six months passed, he said, Tom, I think I've got a job for you. I'd like you to come and see me. So he invited me down to London and I went to the television center. So yeah, I was thrown in there as a director of this stylized, intros to programs, the kind of pre-title sequences, the first 60 seconds. Um. Being handed keys to your own restaurant is an opportunity few people get. Once again, legendary chef Raymond Blanc is offering nine couples that chance. So there might have been eight editors on that program. and All of the editors got to know my footage. All of the producer directors got to know my footage. Some of the sound people got to know my footage. So that just created this kind of tree of life. And from that, I would start to get these phone calls. 